Hey everyone, continuing doing these more casual videos, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. That's my true YouTuber coming out there. Um, so over the weekend, Steny Hoyer, representative from Maryland, who was also the number two Democrat in the House, spoke at APAC. Uh, a lot of people spoke at APAC, including Nancy Pelosi, Mike Pence, Mike Pompeo. They all united to say, we're going to support Israel no matter how many war crimes and human rights abuses they commit. So extremely lovely. And Steny Hoyer decided to go after his fellow Democrats in the House. So ladies and gentlemen, when someone accuses American supporters of dual loyalty, I say, accuse me. So that was a not so veiled bar about Ilan Omar talking about dual loyalty when she wasn't even talking about Jews having dual loyalty to Israel, which is the anti-Semitic trope that they say they care about. By the way, inviting Mike Pence and Mike Pompeo, members of the Trump administration, a president who said that some Nazis were good people, by the way. Maybe that should bother some people who are Jewish and in the Israel lobby. I don't really know. but. What, what, uh, not to go off on the tangent, but the Israel lobby largely is made up of evangelicals who want to see Armageddon, so they want the Jews to return to Israel so they can all die, and uh, then Jesus will come down for a second time. So that's pretty much as anti Semitic as it gets, and also made up of neoconservatives who want to. Uh, racket up tensions with Iran so we can go to war with them. So everyone's intentions are entirely pure here. But, you know, Steny Hoyer, why are you going after Ilan Omar? I thought Democrats weren't supposed to attack other Democrats. In fact, in fact, I will get to that later, Steny Hoyer was so concerned about Democrats primarying other Democrats that he basically threatened this other candidate and it was caught on audio. But let's get to the second clip of Steny Hoyer, not just going after Ilan Omar, but now she, he's, uh, I guess, going after Ocasio-Cortez and Rashida Tlaib. By the way, there are 62 freshman uh, Democrats. You hear me? 62, not three. Spitting on the grassroots of the Democratic Party. That's always a great idea. And people like Steny Hoyer always talk about representation. They want women of color. They want women. They want people of all different uh, sexual orientations, all different religions. They want representation until they have to actually deal with the tangible consequences of representation. Because Rashida Tlaib and Ilan Omar are, are Muslim American women. And you know what? They're going to represent the Palestinian point of view in many cases, especially Rashida Tlaib, who is of Palestinian descent. They want the optics of representation without the tangible consequences of representation, which is why it's so cynical when they attack Bernie Sanders for, oh, you don't have the black vote, you don't have this. He actually cares about representation. You just care about using representation for your own ends. And that's what bothers me so much about this, uh, among many other aspects of horribleness of Steny Hoyer here. Some people have described that speech as unhinged on the left. I can't say that I disagree. Uh, but anyway, Steny Hoyer was actually caught on tape in the 2018 primary or leading up to it where he basically tried to strong-arm progressive Levi Tilleman out of the race. He was primarying another Democrat in Colorado. He doesn't just hate Tlaib, Omar, and AOC for challenging the orthodoxy on Israel and Palestine. He also hates them because, God forbid, they're progressives and they're insurgent and they want to change the way the Democratic Party is, has run. He is very similar to Joe Crowley the, the uh, Democrat that AOC ousted because he's a bully and he's from the Democratic old guard. And if he becomes Speaker of the House, progressives should revolt. He's bad. And this speech really just proved it. I have been told over and over that Democrats shouldn't attack other Democrats. And he just went on stage at APAC to make sure that they didn't lose any of that Israel lobby money 
to throw his Democratic colleagues under the bus. The Democratic colleagues that are actually bringing life to this stale party that you're trying to preserve, clutching to it with your hands, with your claws. It's not going to happen, Steny Hoyer, and your attempts are pathetic.